Hello YouTube, what's going on? I had an amazing weekend. If you followed my Snapchat on GOG9, you saw what I got up to. And actually, I bumped into a lot of you guys on the street. It's been amazing um, to kind of be able to go about my day and meet you know a lot of you guys that follow the channel. Um, so I, I'm getting a lot of support, um, which is which is uh, uh, pretty unreal. Um, never really expected to have this much attention. Um, but we're gonna get into the content of this video, and actually. Um, what's really, really freaking cool and something I'm just so excited about is this mastery program that I started a few weeks ago um, with actually Redu Antonio. He's got an amazing channel. He's actually one of the smartest up and coming guys in the industry. Like the guy, his videos, he puts out the best fitness and nutrition videos, um, I would say. And we've been doing this mastery program where, you know, we got a few hundred students and we, we take them through a six month program with different workout routines every, every six weeks. Um, really awesome stuff and we do like a couple coaching calls each month, an exclusive podcast. So it's this amazing program that I'm so happy about. Um, and so on the last coaching call we did, we had just a, tons of questions that we went through and I recorded it and so I'm going to share um, a few of those questions over the next few weeks. Um, and this video is actually all about um, fat loss plateaus. If you have like this fat loss plateau, there's a lot of reasons why some people will get stuck and they won't see um, fat loss. And so in this little clip, we go through basically how to solve this issue. We talk a lot about miscalculating your, your, your calories, um, whether or not low carb is gonna be advantageous, um, among some other really cool strategies that I have found to be super helpful at accelerating fat loss. There's been times where I lean up really, really fast and times when I struggle, and I share some of those similarities and differences. So it's a very, very cool uh, clip. I hope you enjoy it and uh, make sure um, to hit the like button if you like it and to subscribe to the channel. But let's get to the video. Okay, so his question about nutrition is uh, I'm not losing weight with carbs being 35% of my diet and calories set to 11 calories per pound of goal body weight. I'm using my fitness pal and the nutrition breakdown as laid out. If I lower carbs to 100 or less on non workout days and cycle, so carbs are higher on, on workout days, the weight falls off, uh, falls off at uh, 11 calories per pound of, of uh, body weight. I lost 0.5 inches on my waist in a week doing this, holding on to water and or fat when carbs are 35%. Hmm. So naturally, I'm skeptical. Yeah, me too. Because, uh, I mean, the research is clear that if you're eating the same calorie intake and carbs are higher or lower, it's not going to have any effect on, on fat loss. It's possible that um, you're losing more water weight going lower carb on your yeah. week. on your So it, it could be that, but um, and maybe you're one of the, the subset of the population that handles or that does a bit better with a lower carb approach. Um, either, either way, if, if you maintain a calorie deficit, you will lose body weight. Uh, weight cannot stay, the, cannot stay the same even if, for a long time, even if uh, you don't handle carbs well. So I think that um, there, there may be some tracking issues involved. Um, maybe the, the foods that you're eating, the, the nutrition labels are not uh, accurate or maybe the, the values are not accurate in the app. Maybe That's an awesome point. If you go to yeah. Chipotle, if you, even if you go to Chipotle and you get a, a Chipotle bowl on the nutrition data, it says a uh, serving of rice is 110, 120 calories. When they grab that scoop, that's like 300. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you need to be really careful. Some people don't even know how to measure their carbs. They cook rice and they actually use the, the, the like I had like my ex girlfriend, she was like, she was like, you know, uh, I, I was asking her about her diet. She was having some struggles. I don't like to tell people in my life what to do, you know. Just none of the, but the, she was like, yeah, I had rice, had like 150 calories of rice. And she like was using the, um, like she was tracking the calories in a scoop of cooked rice, but she was measuring it from a scoop of uncooked. Oh. So if you guys have ever measured rice before, the uncooked, like a, 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 like when you have it uncooked, it expands because of the water and it's like double, triple, quadruple the size. Yeah, about triple. Yeah, so if you, yes, if you, if you take a scoop of uncooked and then, and then count that as cooked rice, the calories are three times, <laughs> three times <laughs> higher 
I was like, hey, I don't. I was like, I don't think you're doing 1,200 calories. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the same things for for other foods as well. For example, if you if you bake potatoes, they lose about 30%. thirty percent. Yeah, thirty yeah. percent. I've I've noticed this. You gotta really if you're gonna measure, weigh it uncooked. You have to use the uncooked calorie count. Absolutely, yeah, and not only that. Make sure that uh, um, you don't go over over the listed servings, or you don't uh, include some some extra bites of food that you don't uh, that, that you don't track. Or make sure that you you track your oil and you track your veggies. Make sure that you you track everything because um, at least in the research, it shows that people are horrible at tracking their their uh, their calorie intake. Uh, especially obese people, it turned out that they they thought they were eating half of the calories they were actually eating, and uh, you you may not be uh, as as off as as these people, but uh, it's very easy to mistrack 200 300 calories. Yeah, and I'll, I'll say that 35 percent of total calories for carbs is actually a low carb diet. Yeah, the, the, the medical industry will classify as like 40 percent and under as low carb. So you might be like thinking in your back, some people have like this carb phobia. You might be thinking, oh, I can't lose weight with carbs. It's like, no, you're already eating a low carb diet, you know? So that, that leaves plenty of room for protein and fat. So it's actually, on, it's actually considered a lower, like on the, it's a fairly low carb diet. It's not super low, um, but obviously it's different than, you know, what like low carb zeliates classify low carb. Um, but, uh, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's like if you find that you feel better, you're more satisfied, you're more full, going a bit lower on your rest days, then I'm not going to tell you you can't do that, you know. Do what works best for you. Um, but I would look into the tracking issues. And really, when you're having carbs, focus on the carbs that fill you up the most. That's what people forget. They're just like, oh, I'm going to have, I'm going to have like rice and pasta. It's like, you know what? One thing that satisfies me like a crazy are these Rice Krispie squares I get at Starbucks. They're super expensive, so I don't recommend getting those ones. It's like 2 or $3 dollars. But like it's 240 calories, this Rice Krispie Square, and I'm full. Like I'm like really full. Like, and if I eat 600 calories of rice or pasta, I'm not that full. So it's like with carbs, be very. And that's actually why I get a lot of shit. Like, oh, Gregory, you can just you know you're young. That's why you can get away with those foods. I'm like, actually no, I actually get more full off this than like the brown rice and quinoa. So I mean, so um, I would just pay attention to the carbs that really fill you up. And um, you know, find what works best for you. I agree. Yes. Okay. So uh, his biggest breakthrough is that there's more to life than having a six pack. That's that's so true. Awesome. And I, I will give one tip, and then I think we should just move on so we can keep a fast uh, pace. Be boring. Be very boring. Eat the same foods. Have a few different meals you cook. Know exactly what you're getting and eat that, and then if you want to eat out, find a couple of restaurants where you have a very good idea of what you're getting, and just stick to those restaurants, and be boring for two, three months. Mix it up a bit more when you start to get the momentum going. You know, when you've lost, you know, five, six pounds, you have to, when you get the momentum going, then you can experience with a bit more um, variety. Um, but right now, you don't have the momentum going. Be simple, eat the food, the, eat meals you like that are filling, that you know exactly what you're getting, stick to that, and, the, and you'll see the progress. But I think you're all over the place, you're trying to, you know, it's, it's hard tracking all these macros, especially when you're eating different foods all the time. And it, it, it takes, you know, willpower. But if you just have your meal plan set up, do that. Um, and do that for a few weeks. And the momentum will start to come and you'll be down to like 205. That's a very good tip. Okay, his, his uh, biggest learning or breakthrough. Just that I don't have to starve myself or eat extremely low carbs. Yes. With regards to the workouts, I was it was shocking that I could uh, cut my workout time and still make muscle gains. What is really reassuring is that I no longer flip out if the scale goes up by a pound or two and then uh, back down. I know it's not fat and that keeps me at peace. <laughs> yeah. All right. I really hope you guys um, found that useful. Um, I want to keep this channel extremely, extremely engaging and answer and solve all of your questions. And so. I'm so happy about doing the mastery program because every every couple weeks we get tons of questions, 100, 200 plus questions, 
and we go through them and a lot of these questions are things that probably you have, things, struggles that you have that I haven't thought of. And so it provides me like sort of like the ability to um, create awesome content that's super, super valuable that teaches you. You know, it's, it's cool to have like the fun, flashy vlog content or the over the top videos, but ultimately this channel and ultimately what I'm doing is really to give you the tools to really achieve the physique that you've had, the, the, the physique, the goal physique that you want. That's why I do this. And yes, it's fun to inspire people. It's fun to show people that getting lean can actually be enjoyable, but ultimately I want to give you the tools. And so over the next few weeks, I'm really, really excited to try and solve some of these questions that you may have. And for the people that are watching the, this video that really want to get the highest degree of, of coaching and help, then you will want to check out the mastery program. I'm not sure if we're going to have a spot at the time of this video, but I'll put the link in case, um, maybe in the future if you're watching this, um, it will be open, there'll be room. So I'll put a link in the description. Um, but again, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And uh, to finish it off, I'll just share the last few uh, snaps of my Snapchat. Uh, again, I had a sweet weekend. We just had an amazing weekend. It was fun, you know, got some good workouts in. Did a lot of boxing on my Bob. I love that device. Um, so it's been an amazing weekend and uh, I'm gonna plan some epic content in the future. I wanna really show you guys, take you through my morning ri uh, ritual. Stay tuned for that. Anyways, the snaps await and this is the end of the video basically. If you just wanna watch some Snapchats, watch some Snapchats. Peace. I just bumped into this, this guy, what's your name? Alistair. Alistair, he's on the internet fasting and- Alan. Alan, what's up? Sweet to meet Hi, you it's my birthday. It's her birthday, what's up? <laughs> We got a double patty burger from Burger Priest, chocolate milkshake, and french fries. Let's go. Okay, this is kind of hilarious, but I actually cannot start my day without punching Bob. It's an addiction now. I fucking love it. I don't know how I did not do this before. Okay, so I just had the most hilarious moment ever. I was punching Bob, and I got a phone call, and I took it. So I was on the phone for half an hour while punching Bob. That's totally... That's totally what they do in movies and TV shows, you know? They can't just show someone on the phone, just, like, talking. They have to be, like, doing something, like, ridiculous. Like, fucking mixed martial arts. So this is very cool, and the Tesla can actually change the height of the car. So right now we're very high, we can go down to low. Now it's lowering. Who is this lame-o with the Toronto Maple Leaf jersey? What's going on? Just randomly bumped into you, didn't I? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> going? To a cat cafe. We're going to a cat cafe with kittens Yay! and coffee. And I'm you know you can find cats when you're there, you can get a new cat. You're not buying any cats. I'm about to meet. RSD Madison. Where is he? There he is. What's up, <laughs> man? How are you? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Speaking of the devil. Thank you, Shao Appear. Vaughn here. Hey. What's going on? He follows the channel, this man. This guy is the champ. This guy is the champ. <laughs> Fuck vegan games. <laughs> Madison just got recognized. He's so famous. It's amazing. Sorry.